Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 where we're going to be giving you another guide, this time into the International B license. So as with the National B and the National A license, there is 10 tasks or 10 tests for you to complete in this one. We will be giving you a ultimate guide to getting gold on every single one of them. But for right now, let's get it started with the International B License number one. So here at Willow Springs, coming into the braking zone, just as you see the two billboards there on the left hand side leaving your screen, that's when we're going to be braking. And you want to just keep maintaining the throttle, just gentle inputs to keep the speed all the way through the corner. Could be a lot tighter there to the apex, but we're going to get the good run out of the exit. And that's going to give us a goal time of 17.359. So that is number one. We're going to move now straight to number two. And we're going to be at the bus stop chicane at Daytona. So coming into the first braking zone here, there's a little black box here just after the two. We're going to be braking on that box. Get it all the way down to third gear, get it turned in nice and smoothly. And then again you just want to maintain the speed by gently feathering the throttle. And that should give you a time of 15.0. Moving on now to the International B license number 3, we're going to be at Fuji in the RCF. Now Fuji is not one of my favourite circuits, I do really struggle around this circuit. But we're going to give it a go anyway, try and get that gold medal for you today. So coming into the braking zone, we're going to break in just after the 100 meter board. Down to third gear, up to fourth on the exit. Now I did do a little bit of a drift here, but you should be able to keep the car under more control than me. I also carried way too much speed into this corner, so we're going to be on the brakes a tiny little bit. Now coming into the next braking zone, we're going to be breaking just after the red and white strip on the floor starts gonna be down into second gear now I should be in a lot tighter there onto the apex but we're gonna be up shifting to third early on the exit we're gonna be running all the way down to the line and that should give us a comfortable gold medal or well, not a comfortable gold medal we're just scraping through there with a 37.7 but that was my first attempt I'm sure I could get a lot quicker if I had a little bit more practice but now moving on to EB4, we're going to be at Tokyo Expressway, another urban track. We're going to be in the Nissan R34. So as with all urban tracks, you need to stay out of the wall. We're going to have a little lift coming through here just so we don't risk running into the wall on the exit. And we're going to have a little bit of a lift coming through the next corner. Just so we can get to the right hand side of the track, braking just after the 100 meter board. Down shift to third gear, up to fourth on the exit. And that is going to be a nice run to the finishing line. That's going to give us a goal time of 30.9. Moving on now to IB5. Well, we're going to do a little bit of dirt driving here in the Mitsubishi Lancer. So I'm not really the biggest fan of dirt on the Gran Turismo 7. I do have a video explaining why I do not like dirt driving on Gran Turismo 7. So be sure to check that video out at a later date. But coming in, coming in here to the braking zone. Just as you see the GoPro billboards there leaving the screen. You're going to be hard on the brakes. Getting it turned in very early here. You want to be drifting a tiny bit, try and get it straightened up as much as you can to the next corner. And we're going to be just feathering the throttle and braking in a straight line all the way to the exit. And that is going to be a 34.0. So moving on now to EB6 where we're going to be in the rain once again at Red Bull Ring in the BMW M3 Sport. 
So this one is a little bit difficult. You don't want to be on full throttle all the way through this corner. You just want a little bit of a lift. As you can see, we are going to be aquaplaning quite heavily. Coming into the braking zone here. You can see we're going to be braking really, really early in the wet here. We're just after the 100 meter boards. Let the car roll through the rest of the corner. As you feel the grip building up, you can apply more and more throttle. Now coming into the next braking zone, just as the red and white ends there on the floor, you're going to be hard on the brakes. Down to second gear, and again, you just want to let the car roll. Try and get in as tight to these apexes as possible. But again, only on full throttle once you are in a straight line. But even then you do need to be very very careful as the car is very prone to aquaplaning but that is going to give us a time of 38.9 so pretty easy gold there moving on now to ib7 we're going to be at Nur nurburgring norschleife and we're going to be in the taken the porsche taken turbo s so this car does have no gear so it does take a little bit of getting used to I don't really have any brake markers here, but you're just going to want to get it slowed up very, very early. Making sure we take the carousel so that we don't run up wide. Now, breaking in here at the text on the floor, the very white text. Trail braking into the apex. Hard on the throttle, and then you just want to have a lift for this last corner. As soon as you see the exit, hard on the throttle once again. And then we're going to power all the way through to the finishing line. Now it's going to give us a 27.8. Moving on now to IB8. We're going to be at Trail Dragon Trail Gardens. We're going to be in the Mercedes AMG C. So they're going to throw you in at the braking zone right off the start here. Just as you come in down the hill, you're going to want to start braking. Get it turned in, making sure you hit the apexes. You don't want to use too much throttle coming through these last two. But for the final corner, you want to get it strained up as quickly as possible on the throttle as much as you can. And power out all the way to the exit. That's going to give us a time of 19.7. So moving on now to IB9. We're going to be at Alsace in the BMW 3.0 litre. So this one can be a little bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. We're coming into the braking zone here. We're going to be braking just at the start of that red and white rumble strip. Braking hard, getting it turned in, trail braking as we get it turned in. And you just want to keep it rolling through this corner. On the throttle, coming down the hill, a little bit of a lift so that you don't bottom out on the bottom of the hill. But that should be enough to give you a 18.8. So moving on now to the final test, IB10. We're going to be in the skyline once again. And we're going to be at Dragon Trail. So coming into the tunnel here, you're going to be breaking just after the tunnel. Downshift into second for the extra rotation. Make sure you get it tight into that wall. Upshift into third for the exit to get the extra traction. Just as you pass the rock with the man on it, just to the left hand side there. That is your braking point. You're going to get it turned in on second gear. Third gear on the exit for the extra traction. Now here you want to be in a straight line as you're braking. Get it nice and tight into that apex. Now here just after the tunnel starts is your break point. Again down to second, up shift to third, through the corner. That will give you plenty of speed and momentum through the corner and then you're going to power all the way to the line. That will give you a time of a 41.7. And then we get our national B or international B license for completing all gold on the license tests. But now to the time we've all been waiting for, for getting all bronze, we're going to get the Toyota Supra race car. It is a group 4 car, so that is a very welcome addition. And for getting all gold, we're going to get the Taycan Turbo S, the Porsche with no gears. 
So a very nice car indeed. But that is going to do it for this video. Do let me know down in the comments if it has helped you at all and if you would like to see more. But I will see you in the next video. Take care and until then, a goodbye.